ProLin PLN. Hello, my name is Kyle Bentley. I'm an application engineer with ProLin PLN. In this snack bite video, we're going to be looking at the topology optimization tool inside of NX. So let's go ahead here and look at a quick example. So here I have a bracket that we're going to run the topology optimization on. So in this example, you'll notice I already have the results and already have it set up. So I'm going to show you how to set up the topology optimization and then show you how to run it and then display those results. So to use the topology optimization tool, remember that this is going to be more used for 3D printed parts than it is used for your traditional manufacturing methods. So let's go ahead here and look at how to set that up. Notice in this example, I have a design space specified. So what that means is you need to design a area where you want your part to lie. So what that is is a volume of where my part is going to be. Notice I have a material applied to that body, so NX will automatically recognize that. Once you select that body from the list, you'll hit add to list and then define it as design space. From here, you'll notice that we have some different areas that we need to apply, maybe fixed constraints and some pins and things like that to our part. I have some counterboard holes and some other holes as well. So inside of NX, you can use the optimization features. What that does is you can click the add all auto recognize features and that'll recognize anything that was modeled inside of NX, such as the hold command, it'll add it to the list. You can also add different areas to keep in and keep out if you have any regions in your part from the assembly level maybe that you need to keep out of different regions so it'll fit in the assembly. So for this example, I have four counterboard holes and two other holes that are used in the assembly. So notice I already hit add all auto recognize features in this example and then those counterboard holes, they'll have bolts in the assembly so those are going to be placed as the fixed constraint. The other two holes are going to be used to apply loads in my example here. So from here we have our feature specified and our design space. You can also apply different constraints on the body. Remember that this is more used for 3D printing. You can use one called an overhang prevention. You could also use other examples such as draft and symmetry if you have any on your part. From here, with the design constraints and the features specified in the design space, we need to go ahead and look at the loads. So you can apply different loads and you can also apply multiple different loads inside of NX. Notice here I have the four counterboard holes, those are fixed, and the other holes, or the other two holes, have different forces in different directions with the different load cases. For example, on load case one, we have a force of 35,585 in the Y direction or the vertical. Load The load case two, for example, is going in the X direction and it has a different force or a different value. Load case 3 is going in a different direction with a different value as well. Same thing with load case 4. So you can apply different loads and add new sets to your list. From here, with the design space already specified, the optimization features, your constraints and your loads, and the material, already specified, we can go ahead and set up the optimization. So once you're ready to run the optimization, you have everything set up, you'll go into the setup optimization area. From here, you're gonna specify a mass target based on your design space area. And then you'll estimate the optimization parameters. What this does is bring up a slider bar based on a resolution. So what this means is if you leave the slider bar more towards the left, it's going to be a faster result with more material, more material in different areas. However, if you leave the slider bar more, toward the, more towards the right, you're gonna notice 
that the optimization takes longer. However, you're going to notice a different result. It's going to have less material. Notice the minimum geometry size as we move the slider bar. Once you're ready to run the optimization, you have your mass target specified and your resolution specified. You can then hit the run optimization. However, since I already have the results specified in this part, we'll go ahead and look at those now. So when you're done running the optimization, you're going to see the results under the non-timestamp geometry. You're also going to see the different toggles up here as well. So the topology result, you're going to see that, and then two other results, the stress result and the displacement result. So the topology result is our topology part that we can use to 3D print. Notice that it removes material based on your mass target, your material properties, your load constraints, and your constraints as well based on your body. So notice that material is removed from the bottom, and then also some has been removed on the top as well. So we can also see the max displacement based on our loads. We can also see the stress results as well. So that is how inside of an X we can use the topology optimization tool to produce a 3D printed part by simply defining an area of the geometry where we want our part to be and then specifying our loads, our constraints, and our material properties to produce a 3D printed part inside of an X. ProLim PLM.